We're back everybody with a new video. Hot Potato Counter Game Mode has been added to Naraka. This is a fantastic new fun mode to check out with friends. It's available under your casual tab in the select mode menu. You're going to go ahead and read a little bit about it and how it works. We're also going to have some gameplay up, break down some techniques, and show you how to become victorious out here in this new game mode. Going over the rules for the game, the game has multiple rounds, up to nine rounds. Each round begins with the hot potato spawning in the center, which starts tracking to a random player and then gains speed based on various strikes. Being hit by the hot potato reduces your health. In solos, you have one health point. In trios, each player gets two health points. Win by defeating all opposing players or scoring the highest before the round concludes. Different types of hot potatoes. There's red hot potatoes and those are targeting you. It's coming at you. Blue hot potatoes are friendly. They're coming from your allies. You can allow them to hit and deflect off of you or you can counter them, intercept them, or strike at them and throw them at the opponent. All hot potatoes, including the white ones, can cause damage to anyone on their trajectory except the blue ones sent to you by your teammate. Will not cause damage to you yet will bounce off of your body. Use different moves to rebound hot potatoes more effectively. Hit a hot potato to change its direction and target. Catch, trios only. When a teammate hits a blue potato and it's nearby, you can use a charge strike to have it circle your body, then quickly toss the hot potato. You can also counter it. You can strike at it. You can send it back to your opponent in different ways, and we'll go over some techniques that allow you to send it back to your teammate, including vertical strikes to pass the hot potato to your teammates. Different moves will let you manipulate the speed and direction of the hot potato's movement. Common attack speeds up the hot potato a little bit, so if people are bouncing it back and forth with light attacks, it's going to just get faster. Focus strikes speeds up the hot potato a moderate amount, so if you hit a blue, it's going to launch that potato pretty fast. <clears throat> Counters. Counters catch the potato and throw it in a curve to the aim direction with an extra speed boost. You can hold this. You can also dodge after countering to immediately send the ball from your possession towards your teammate. If the enemy is in your vicinity, it'll most likely hit the enemy first. Skills and Soul Jades. More powerful rebound techniques come with picking up skills and Soul Jades as the battle progresses. Speed boost from the same move can stack, but hitting the hot potato with a different move will reset the speed boost. In the middle, there's an exquisite vessel. There's a chance that soul jades and items will spawn in the exquisite vessel. Armor blocks one instance of hot potato, so you could have a chance to pick up armor randomly that spawns from the middle and help you stay in the battle or replenish your armor. Counter type glyphs, lunar, agile is effective against active hot potatoes. So let's do some gameplay, show you how it looks, how it flows, and display some of these techniques, including the dodge function, which allows you to change the timing of that release on the hot potato pretty drastically and catch your opponents off guard. You can also get to see some team play bouncing back and forth and see what the whole mode offers. I hope you have a chance to log on and get involved. It's a blast and I'll see you out there. Enjoy the video. Okay, so here we have a replay from an awesome game last night. Some really strong players. Here you see me counter and use that technique of dodging in order to change the timing and be unpredictable when I release the ball there. As the gameplay continues, you can see here I'm able to get an armor swap, which is pretty important to stay in the fight and continue as this match progresses. So here later in the game, you can see we're able to pick up a counter position again and release at an unpredictable timing due to just dodging versus letting the animation play out where we're going to send it in a certain direction or at a specific time. So that's an important cool tech that you can use to get an advantage on your opponent. You can also walk with the ball, travel with it in a direction. Moving on to another game, we here again see that technique used to pick up an elimination but later in this position here it's 2v1 so what we do is i dodge and pass back to my teammate who then bounces back to me able to intercept and we're and we're trying to close the gap here on this opponent in order to try to get the ball going so fast between each other that it's hard for them to to react to this player was amazing uh, we had some really good fights and so they got the point for this round They were on point. 
So here what we're looking at is a jump horizontal to get the ball from behind you. It's a good technique you can use if you're targeted and it's close by or if it spawns directly at you. We're just going to look at some more gameplay, how the game flows, able to get a parry. I see an opponent low, so we want to send it that direction and try to keep the pressure onto them. My teammate sends it back, and now we're trying to close the gap here in order to send the ball very quickly and try to pick up that last tap on that player's health here. I'm going to send it back towards that direction now. Cast money do. Uh, handling it here it comes to me again I get a parry and I send it yet again back towards this player I'm trying to close the gap here my F is still up which a skill sends the ball very quickly but I'm able to get a vertical strike and get up get the elimination there a great match between these players